Hello, hello for everyone who's new here. My name's Ethan. Make sure to check out my website, ethanren.com. From there, you can find links to all my various socials. We are currently live on Twitch, YouTube, and the front page of my website. If you'd like to get notified when we go live next, so you can be here, ask me questions, potentially cr critique the way I dress, make sure to follow or subscribe on the respective platforms and you will be notified. So you can be here commenting in chat and enjoying uh, the stream live. So... What is the next symbol we're going to be covering? Well, we've kind of had a common theme today, right? We've been covering a lot of Israel-based assets, um, and that's not changing here. The next symbol we're going to be covering is ITEQ. This is the Blue Star Israel Technology ETF. Israel Technology ETF. So what is this? This is an ETF. It represents a sector of the Israel economy, especially technologies, right? So... To the U.S., this would be their their XLK, right? Their their technology based ETF. For us, for for us, this provides a great way for U.S. citizens to get exposure to is assets of Israel, specifically the technology sector. Now, if you look on my YouTube channel, you're going to see a bunch of Israel related videos. Whether it be for the Tel Aviv 125, which is their s p basically which is their major market index that would typically be something you look at as a barometer for where that country might be going moving forward but the ta125 is denominated in israel's currency and a lot of us u.s citizens may not be able to gain access to this exchange so the next best thing we have are derivatives offered by the likes of maybe BlackRock, or for example, here we're looking at one by Blue Star, that could help us gain exposure to some of these Israel-based assets. Now, on my channel, you will also see a symbol such as EIS. I like to think of EIS as, the, as Israel's value-based derivative that you can get access to here in in the united states and if i was to compare maybe another symbol izrl or iteq which we're looking at right now which are more technology heavy etfs you could almost think of these as like growth etfs eis will offer you exposure to israel assets and it will provide you a dividend and it's maybe a little less volatile than something like iteq but ITEQ may not offer you a dividend, but it also seeks to potentially offer you more growth if held, right? More potential upside potential in the share price. So on a technical level, what are some of the things we like about ITEQ? Well, you always hear me comment on the RSI. And when the RSI is oversold, touching the bottom, this is typically a sign that the asset is a good value or potentially good time to be scaling in. When the asset is overvalued and high in the sky and the RSI is banging its head against the 70, as you can see happened right here, it's typically a sign that the asset is overvalued. And it's potentially a good time to be selling this asset um, as it may not show growth moving forward. I already went through and marked every time that the RSI was as low as it is currently. And let's just take a brief look at how this ETF has performed. Right here, March 16th, 2020, we saw symbol ITEQ bottom out on the 30 and then proceed to run as much as 160%. That is insane, guys. That is huge. That is huge. That that Again, this is an ETF, guys. It's not a singular company. What's great about ETFs is they provide you a way to diversify your risk across a wide variety of underlying symbols, right? The time before that, when the RSI was as low as it is currently, would be December 17th, 2018. RSI touched down at the 30, proceeded to run as much as 54%. And then lastly, right here, after its initial IPO, we saw on February 8th, 2016, RSI touched down at the 30, then proceeded to run as much as 80%. These are huge ranges. Again, this would be more representative of the type of performance you'd expect out of a growth-based ETF, potentially. And focusing in on that ETF concept, right? If 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 you hold, if you're stuck between two portfolios, right? One portfolio is just a singular company, a singular company, and the other portfolio is a very diverse 
portfolio of assets from a particular country, and we'll use like the United States, for example. Let's say you have a very diverse United States portfolio. You've reduced by going with the diverse portfolio, you're reducing your potential risk by as much as 75% relative to just holding that singular company. Now, if you were to have an internationally diverse portfolio, consisting of everything that that US portfolio had, but then you also maybe add a little bit of Chinese related products, a little bit of European related products, a little bit of Israel related products, you now have an internationally diverse portfolio. And this has the potential to reduce your risk by as much as 85% relative to holding that singular company. So it's quite valuable to be looking at these foreign investments and work thinking about how you can be incorporating them into your portfolio to help better diversify your portfolio, reducing your risk um, and increasing your exposure to these potentially overlooked countries that have great opportunities in them. Now, again, this is the Blue Star Israel ETF. If you look, they have a little E here. This E stands for Ethan Wren. Um, I do quite like this symbol and I do see a pretty good potential for it moving forward. Now, if I had to choose between this and IZRL, which is brought to the market by ARK, I, I, personally, I like the technicals on this one a little more. As you can see, we have this uptrending support line right here, and it is currently at this exact moment in time presenting an excellent entry. You guys can go out and buy this right now and be getting a great entry. A, excellent entry excellent entry um it's, so that's one of the things i really like about this symbol currently is it's currently presenting a great opportunity if you're seeing this right now you again nothing is stopping you from potentially getting involved it is not too late in fact it's just starting um one more thing I'd like to comment on with symbol ITEQ is the holdings. You're probably curious on what are the holdings of this ETF. So I brought up Yahoo Finance. And as you can see, where do I want to put this? Brought up Yahoo Finance. And as you can see, again, this is a tech heavy ETF with 71% of its holdings representing tech, which is makes sense, growth based. The top, the number one holding is NICE LTD, symbol N-I-C-E. That is a pretty awesome symbol when you think about it. NICE, are you being nice to people today? You know, we all just need to be nicer to each other, right? Under that, you have Amdocs Limited, symbol D-O-X. That is also a really cool symbol. Docs, docs, you, you, you've all probably heard the word docs be used maybe once or twice. After that, we have Checkpoint Softwares. We have Solar Edge Technologies. We have CyberArk software ltd you have tower semiconductor you have wix uh wix you're all probably very familiar with they're kind of like wordpress or maybe shopify in a way that help you build websites and e-commerce websites currently in the united states online retail you know people who buy stuff online is the second fastest growing industry here in the united states so to be able to gain exposure to something like shopify or maybe even wix could be excellent moving forward as the industry is showing a lot of resilience and a lot of growth currently right now under that we have elbit systems we have novu cure cure and then we have ormat technologies that is the top 10 holdings of symbol iteq which represents roughly 52.67 of the overall holdings in this etf and again etfs are a great way to not have too much exposure to a singular company and it's a great way for maybe a newer novice investors to gain access to a very diverse portfolio with a singular click um, very easy to get involved with something i highly recommend and with that i think that's everything i want to say about symbol iteq with the exception of one thing now what is it that's telling us that israel might be a good time to buy sure these etfs are great they're, the technicals are great, the fundamentals are great, everything about them is great, but we're doing a lot of Israel-related content in today's stream, and that's because Israel's major market index, kind of like Israel's S&P, is what's known as the TA-125. So currently, the TA-125 is oversold, the RSI is oversold, and it's potentially 
all the technical indicators are there to tell us that the TA125 is at support and ripe and ready to bounce, just like the S&P and QQQ have been the past couple months. Well, it's looking like it's Israel's turn to step in and step up to the plate and get ready to start running. So because of that, you might want to potentially start gaining exposure to Israel-related assets. And for a lot of people, that might be hard. As you can see, the TA125 is not based in U.S. It is not denominated in U.S. dollars. It is denominated in Israel's currency. So for a lot of U.S. investors, that might make it hard for them to gain exposure out here. So because of all of this, we are now covering every Israel-related derivative that's denominated in U.S. dollars and available on U.S. brokerages, such as IZRL, ITEQ, EIS. These are all things that you might be interested in looking into. Now, with that all being said, we are definitely done with that symbol moving into our next one. So hang in there tight. Uh, we've got some more things coming.